Hi, I'm Vaishnavi Pradhan and I'm a student of Masters in Clinical Psychology. Mental health care, according to me, is paying attention to how you think and feel. It is being mindful of how you behave and how your behavior affects you and others. It is striving to improve while accepting how you currently are. It is admitting that you are human and fallible, even when it is difficult to do so. Overall, I believe mental health care is looking forward to life while taking time to appreciate everything that you already have. How can one take care of their mental health? While there is no hard and fast rule to this, I believe in some of the things that helped me. First is forgiveness. It is important to forgive yourself and others for past mistakes. When I say forgiving others, I mean I don't mean uh, being treated like a doormat, but uh, standing up for yourself while understanding where that person comes from and accepting that they are fallible like you. When I say forgiving yourself, I mean learning from a past mistake while moving forward. I don't believe true satisfaction with life is possible without forgiveness. The second thing is being honest with yourself. Now, this is easier said than done. We often uh, say to ourselves, I don't care what someone thinks of me or what someone says to me. This is because we think that others expect us to treat it like a trivial matter. So we pretend and convince ourselves that I don't care or it is not a big deal. As a result, uh, a person may be ashamed that something such a small thing is bothering them so much. This is why it is important to be honest with yourself. If something bothers you, it bothers you. You don't need to justify it by saying why it should or should not bother you. Instead, get to the more bottom of it. What does it make you feel? What thoughts do you have because of it? The third thing is to stop expecting negative thoughts to go away forever. We have negative thoughts for a reason. They exist to warn us. When we have a thought like, I can never be good at this, your mind may be telling you to put more effort into it, to be better at it. So, a more realistic goal would be to answer these negative thoughts with something like, I can be good at this if I try hard. Therefore, doing so, um, a negative thought can motivate us. If you struggle with negative thoughts or struggle to create a change in your life, just remember that there is hope. Even if it doesn't seem like it at this moment, you have some control over your life. At the very least, you have the choice of how to perceive a situation. You can either perceive it as suffering or a lesson or challenge. Most of all, believe that you are strong enough to handle anything. Therefore, I support Meraman Foundation in this initiative. Thank you.